All right, today is June 13th. This is episode 53. And what I'm going to attempt to get done today is to do the final contouring of this fender. Sanding and leveling all of these glazed areas on this side, this back panel here, and on this side. And so once I get that all done and double check things, making sure everything is sanded to 220, uh, then I'm going to tape off the windshield uh, on both sides, even though it's cracked. I at least have to preserve, well, I don't even know if I really need to preserve that, but uh, I'll tape it off nonetheless. It's getting replaced, obviously. That was cracked like that when I bought the Jeep, so I knew I was going to have to replace it. But I'll get it taped off, get the steering wheel taped off, get the floor covered with plastic, uh, the wheels, um, and the back side of this grill um, to protect the uh, radiator area. Because then at that point, <clears throat> I'm going to blow the garage out. I'm going to seal the kitchen door off, the door that goes into the house, with duct tape. And I'm going to 2K prime the entire Jeep body. Um, and if I get that much done today, I'll be happy. I think I, think I can do that. Um, and then once it's 2K primed, I can look at it and see where the trouble areas are and address them then. All right, here we go. All right, I've got all this sanded to uh, 120, these glazed areas. So it's um, relatively smooth now. And uh, there are a couple of places that I can already tell are going to need some attention after I 2K prime. Um, one is right in here. You feel it's got a little bit of a waviness to it. Somewhat, not too bad. Um, and here, I think this area is a little bit low. So I'll just, I'm going to prime it anyway and sand it, and, you know, block sand it and so forth. Um, and I did some uh, sculpting, contouring of this uh, front fender, and it's looking pretty good. Again, won't know for sure until there's some areas that's going to need to be glazed. Won't know for sure until I get the uh, primer on it. Um, so at this point, uh, I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to come back out and sand it again with 220 and then wipe it down um, I've got a I've got to put some uh, self etching primer in areas uh, that I had not done yet so I'll probably once I put the self etching primer on I'm at least gonna let it dry overnight um, before I put the 2k primer on so I won't get to the 2k primer today um, this is an area for one thing. This was a, a bare metal uh, rear quarter that I welded in. So uh, there's there's bare metal here still from that process. And then, you know, some areas where I uh, got down to the metal there. I need to um, clean that line back out again. I've got some residual glaze down there. And just some general, you know, areas that have some bare metal showing. And I don't want to go over top of that with the 2k I want to go over it with the self etching primer um, these are areas that when Allison um, sanded the fender for me she did 120 and then 220 and these are just some areas that she came up with some bare metal um, it's part of the process it just it's what happens um, so I've got areas all over it that are going to need uh, the 2k or I'm sorry the self etching primer so once I get this sanded to 220, I'm going to uh, blow it off, you know, open up the garage door, blow, blow the garage out and so forth, spray the uh, self-etching primer, and then let it sit at least overnight. Um, I may even wait until Wednesday to uh, do the 2K primer on the body. So, all right, here we go.
All right, I've got this thing sanded to 220 all the way around. And I've got some self-etched primer on the bare metal spots, which obviously is all over this thing. Um, and I only put a light coat on because I watched a YouTube video of a guy that I've been uh, checking out, a uh, guy with Paint Society, so shout out to them. Guy's really knowledgeable, really good at uh, paint work and so forth, body work. And what he does, he just puts a light coat of uh, self-etching primer over the bare metal spots, lets it dry enough to the touch, and then puts the 2K primer over top of it. So what I'm going to do is let it, <clears throat> because I've got a um, 2K prime the hood spots and then doors, I'm just going to let this dry overnight. And then uh, tomorrow I'll uh, tape off the windshield and uh, the steering wheel and back here so I don't get any primer in there. And I'll be 2K priming this puppy tomorrow. So, uh, and then obviously once that's done, um, later that day or, or uh, Wednesday, I'll block sand it um, and see where, see where I'm at. All right, here we go. All right, I got this hood wiped down in the areas that I'm gonna uh, spot prime with 2K urethane primer. And the doors are wiped down as well. So get ready to mix up my uh, 2K primer. Right here, this Nason 2K urethane primer. It's a uh, four to one ratio. So uh, here we go. Okay, I got this. Uh, 2K primer down on the door, both doors, um, and put, yeah, put two, about two coats, two full coats on it, on them, I should say. Um, so we'll have a, we'll have a look tomorrow once I block sand it again, see what we're looking at. Same thing on the hood here. I did notice after I'd already run out of primer I still need to get this edge here and right here, but I've got some rattle can sandable primer that I can put on that before I go to buffing it out. Or not buffing it out, but um, wet sanding it. Um, so anyway. It feels pretty good. Got some dry spray right here, it looks like. I don't feel anything in there really. That actually might still be a low spot right there. Anyway, I'll see once I block sand it. I'll block sand it with uh, 320 or 180 and then 320 um, tomorrow uh, or Wednesday, one of the two. So, all right. Well, we'll catch you guys next time.